हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फिन स्टॉप फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम हियर विद बेसिक्स ऑफ स्टॉक मार्केट सीरीज पार्ट फाइव वीडियो फ्रेंड्स इन पार्ट थ्री वीडियो वी हैव लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू इन्वेस्ट इन शेयर्स एंड बॉन्ड्स इन पार्ट फोर वीडियो वी हैव लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू इन्वेस्ट इन डेरेवेटिव लाइक फॉरवर्ड्स फ्यूचर्स ऑप्शन एंड स्वैप्स इन दिस पार्ट फाइव वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द इन्वेस्टमेंट टूल विच गिवस यू मोर रिटर्न This investment tool is nothing but the mutual funds. Friends, if you haven't watched my part 1, part 2, part 3, part 4 videos, then please go and watch them. I am giving the video links in the description box and also in the i bar section. Friends, if you like this video, please hit the like button and also please please subscribe to my YouTube channel friends and also hit the bell icon. Now let's get into the topic. Many people enter into the market to get more and more profits but they will end up in losses due to lack of proper knowledge and not giving proper time to the market this is why i have started this basics of stock market series so that you can get good amount of knowledge and you yourself can invest in market and get good amount of returns not only this you can give your money to an expert and get good amount of returns here the expert is mutual fund manager this mutual fund manager will invest our money in the stock market on behalf of us and give good amount of returns say 12% to 20% per annum other investment tools like national pension scheme fixed deposit recurring deposit sukanya scheme every other instrument will give you only returns which are less than 10% only only mutual fund will give you returns from 12% to 20% that is why mutual funds is considered as better way of investment than other investment tools now let us discuss about mutual funds these mutual funds are managed by a professional generally these mutual funds are run by asset management company generally every bank has an asset management company also private players like tata lnt also has asset management company in the market these asset management company has different mutual fund schemes you can choose whatever mutual fund you like in these mutual funds not only a single person many other people will come and invest their money in this mutual funds the money held by the mutual fund company is known as asset under management if you select equity mutual fund they will invest your money in stocks if you select debt mutual fund they will invest your money in bonds and government securities now let's see what are the types of mutual funds first we will discuss about equity mutual funds there are four types first one is large cap mutual funds in this large cap mutual fund mutual fund house will invest your money in large cap companies only large cap companies are those companies whose market cap is greater than 20000 crores the next one is mid cap mutual funds in the mid cap mutual fund the mutual fund house will invest your money in mid cap companies only these mid cap companies are those whose market cap is between 5000 crores and 20000 crores and the next one is small cap mutual funds in this mutual fund house will invest your money in small cap companies only these are those companies whose market cap is only less than 5000 crores and the next one is multi cap mutual funds multi cap mutual funds are those who invest your money in all these three categories large cap mid cap and small cap due to the recent rules these multi cap mutual fund has to invest minimum 25% in large cap companies 25% in mid cap companies and 25% in small cap companies other than this multi cap mutual fund there are flexi cap mutual funds also these flexi cap has an advantage that they can invest as they like in any one of this category and the, there is no restriction on the percentage of the large cap mid cap and small cap now let's see debt mutual fund these debt mutual funds are those whose money is invested in debt instruments like bonds and government securities and the next one is hybrid mutual funds this is a combination of debt and equity hybrid mutual funds are also known as balanced mutual funds in which mostly 60% of the money is invested in equity and remaining 40% in debt instruments the next type is elss mutual fund elss means equity linked savings scheme 
the amount invested in the ELSS mutual fund scheme can be shown in the income tax returns and tax can be rebated. The next type is liquid mutual fund. In this liquid mutual fund, mutual house will invest your money in money market funds like government treasury bills, commercial paper, certificate of deposit, etc. Now let's see next type of mutual fund that is index mutual fund. These index mutual funds are passive mutual funds because they simply form a replica of stocks in index like Nifty or Sensex and their returns will depend upon the performance of indexes Nifty or Sensex. The next one is international mutual funds. In the international mutual funds, you yourself can sit in India and can invest in any multinational company of any company in the world. Say you can invest in American multinational companies, you can invest in China multinational companies, you can invest in Asian multinational companies, you can even invest in Japan multinational companies. The next one is funds of funds. These mutual funds will take different mutual funds in their portfolio and their performances depend upon the different mutual funds. Since several mutual funds are in this mutual fund, it is called as funds of funds. The next one is sector specific mutual funds. In this, you can select any sector IT, FMCG, auto and you can invest in that particular sector mutual funds. Based upon sector performance, your mutual fund will give you returns. Friends, I have made several videos on each type of mutual fund say top 5 large cap mutual funds, top 5 mid cap mutual funds, top 5 small cap mutual funds, top 5 debt mutual funds, ELSS funds, international funds etc. I am giving the video links in the description box and also in the i bar section. If you haven't watched them, please go and watch them. Friends, in the next video, I am going to tell you about Depository Participants, NSDL, CDSL and Clearing Corporation of India, etc. If you like my explanation, please hit the like button, share, comment and please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for important notifications. If you want to contact me, you can contact through finstop2021 at the rate gmail.com. Thank you friends.